this is Mike Lodge, the business advisor. It's a beautiful morning. It is a gorgeous morning. I'm looking out my window and it looks like a park. The The sunlight is streaming through the trees. It's bright green. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day to start the day. I want to let you know I was fact checked. I feel violated. <laughs> Facebook decided to, to fact check one of my pictures that I posted. Now, this was a joke, okay? It was a joke. And when Facebook saw it, they said it was misinformation. <laughs> but it was a joke. But in actuality, it really was not a joke. So what it said, it showed an Exxon sign, right? And it showed regular price was at $1.84, plus was $1.89, Supreme was 202 and then at the bottom of the picture, it said, just kidding. <laughs> Those were our prices the day Biden took office. So Facebook decided, uh, uh, no, no, no. You can't say anything bad. You can't say anything we consider misinformation. No, 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 Mike Lodge. <laughs> you cannot say that. So they fact-checked me. In fact, they fact-checked me twice because I reposted the picture and they fact Fact checked me again. Well, listen, part of that picture is true because when I moved to South Carolina, prices were, I believe, at about a dollar ninety four, something like that. Now it's sitting at five oh two. At least the gas station I go to. So if you look at that picture that was a joke, it really was not a joke. It was really fact because prices from the time that Biden took office until now has risen steadily. In fact, it's just gone up this week again. The price of oil has gone up. So listen, Facebook, that's not nothing to fact check. Unless it's coming down from, what is that new department at Homeland Security that fact-checks everybody now, I guess, who is the the goddess of uh, information that's supposed to be bad and good. I mean, it's absolutely nuts out there. And we have let it go on for too long. The problem is, is that that gas price number was right. My information that I provided was a joke, but yet it was right. It was correct. I remember when I when I went from South Carolina down to Florida. Florida was just a little bit higher. It was like two something. When Biden came in, it jumped right up there. I mean, it just it just went up every single month, every single day. It seemed like it was going up. We have been hit by inflation, and yet. We've got these censors out there, the cens- yeah, censors out there who wants to censor everything that we that we put out. Whether or not it's true or not, they want to put it down. But Facebook is wrong. Twitter is wrong. Now, Twitter did not fact check it. Twitter is more in line with what Americans are thinking and saying every single day. It's gotten back to kind of normalized. Well, you can say and put stuff out there and it's not being fact-checked. And listen, I post every single day, several times a day to that Twitter, and I have not been fact-checked for a long time now. Ever since Elon, Elon Musk said, okay, we're not going to do this anymore, we're going to do it a different way, Twitter changed. And I have been able to put out there, because I'm talking about business all day long on Twitter, especially when it comes to the economy, inflation, recession, uh, the dollar, uh, I'm always talking about it all day long on Twitter. I'm putting out my two cents worth. worth. But they're not fact-checking me anymore. In fact, they didn't even really need to fact-check me in the first place because what I was putting out there was documentation, documented information. But they didn't like the way it was being said, so they fact-checked it with some nonsense but that, that they came back with. Let me see if I can tell you why they fact-checked me on this one. Uh, It said it was an altered photo. Now, I didn't do any alterations to it. So, 
listen, we have this nonsense where I'm reporting stuff on the economy and on business, and yet they want to come back and say, no, politically correct. <laughs> Mike, you're not being political politically correct you're putting down the president you're you're doing something you're, you're talking nonsense about gasoline when we all know we've all experienced that gasoline prices has gone up every single damn day that we've been in this biden administration now today today the president is supposed to come out and talk about the economy and inflation but the problem is and what i've read at the at, uh, beginning statements of this speech he's supposed to give, it's nothing about what he's going to do to lower inflation or what he can do to lower inflation. Instead, he's going to point fingers at the GOP and everything that everybody else is bad, but what he's doing is good. And we're going to hear about wonderful things that he's done, but he's done nothing. We have experienced nothing to help the consumer price index and everything else now tomorrow the cpi number is supposed to be out now the guesstimate is it might go from 8.5 to 8.2 but still that's too high and let's be honest with everybody that 8.5 number is not 8.5 if you look at the the percentages of what everything has gone up it doesn't add up to 8.5 it's more like 14 to 15 percent 16 percent it's nowhere even close to 8.5%. It's much, much higher. We all know it. We're all experiencing it. When we go to buy gas, yeah, we know the prices have gone up. When we go to buy food, the prices have gone up. And now we have a baby food shortage, and those prices have gone up. So it's hurt so many of us in this economy because we don't have anybody who can sit down with the president and say, listen, this is where we need to go. The problem with the president's office is that it's politically politically motivated. It's not results motivated, it's politically motivated. And when you think of correcting or or making policy, and if it's politically motivated, you will never get any results out of it. Nothing will happen to help the United States economy. Somebody, <clears throat> listen, I, I called for this yesterday several times on Twitter. I said, there needs to be a staffing change in the White House. The economic advisors need to be changed out. The policy advisors need to be changed out. The chief of staff needs to be changed out. Staffing needs to be changed out because there's, there is nobody in that office that knows what they're doing. There is nothing coming out of that office that is productive for the economy at this moment. And until they bring some people in that can sit down with the president and say, this is the direction that we need to go, instead of being politically politically correct or, or polit politicians, you need to start focusing on what needs to happen in the economy. What are the steps that we can take right now to improve the economy? But they don't do that. It's all pointing fingers. It's all all blaming somebody else instead of saying, okay, this is what we can do to change the economy. So we have a problem where we have the wrong people sitting in the wrong office that controls policy in direction of the American people, the direction of America. We are going in the wrong direction. We're going into the to a political direction, but we're not going to what is common sense and what needs to happen in order to make the economy stronger, to make small businesses stronger. Listen, but small businesses right now are struggling. Every single day they're struggling, struggling, struggling. I'm struggling every single day. Every single day, I'm trying to go out and find new clients, but everything's quiet at the moment because business is on pause. We, in America, to have a good economy, we have to have good people in the right places to know what to do. We don't have that at the moment. The Secretary, Secretary of the Treasury was bad as a Fed chairman when she was when she was Fed chairman. She was bad at it. And she's bad at the job she's doing now because she doesn't know in which direction to go. 
the Federal, Federal Reserve acted way too late in enacting the higher interest rates. They should have done it as soon as they even smelt a little bit of inflation. They should have jumped on it and made some changes. But they didn't do it. They let it go on. The inflation got bigger and bigger and bigger. And the Federal Reserve just sat there and did nothing. Talking about, well, we may, we may, we may raise interest rates. Finally, they raised interest rates, and now we're seeing a difference in the economy, but I don't know if it's going in the right direction. How's the housing market? Listen, I think the bubble's broken on the housing market because we're starting to see people lower their prices. We're starting to see banks start the foreclosure process on some of these loans because some of these loans on these houses are adjustable rate loans. How stupid is that? So we have interest rates going up, and their their interest rates are going up, and they're going to go into, go into foreclosure. So we have all of these economic issues that are surrounding uh, surrounding us every single day. And we have individuals in the White House that don't know what to do. They don't know even how to even look at the economy. You never hear anything from the economic advisors out of Biden's office. You never hear anything from them. Okay, that is my bitching and moaning. But I just wanted to let you know, I don't like to be fact-checked. I just don't like it from Facebook. But I was. What will I do about it? I'll fight back. I'll still get my message out there somehow. That's the way it works, right? If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Listen, this is Mike Lodge, the business advisor. I want you to go to my website to know more about me, which is www.lodge-co.com. Again, that's www.lodge-co.com. And if you want to help me out in donating to my podcast and helping me out, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it. Go to www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash Michael Lodge. And on that webpage, I I also post a lot of blogs about the economy, about taxation, a lot about taxation because we just got out of the tax season, right? I was just thinking about that. You know, I just got out of the tax season. I have to renew my license again, which means I have to go to more continuing education classes in order to have my license intact by, my. I think my license comes due in October. So I've got all this time to do 25 hours, but I've also got to do that's an individual tax, but I also have to do a whole bunch more in 25 hours in business tax. So I've got some learning to do, people. Help me out here. <laughs> Listen, this is Mike Lodge. Everybody have a great day. And remember, lead by example. Do what is right. Be ethical at all times. And you will have a successful business. This is Mike Lodge. I'll talk with you soon. Bye-bye.